गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द केमिस्ट्री माई सेल्फ द डॉक्टर साजिद शेख डीलिंग टू टॉक विथ डीलिंग विथ द केमिस्ट्री वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द केमिस्ट्री यू नो एज ऑलरेडी माई कलीग पवार सर स्टडे एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द पेपर्स एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स बट टूडे I am again going to discuss about the examination and the paper pattern. As you seen, there will be the seven papers for this semester. First one is the chemistry one, then the second chemistry two, botany one, botany two. There is option for the physics. Either you can uh, you have the physics or the zoology. Same paper will be for the physics oblique zoology one, physics oblique zoology two. and the last paper is the seventh paper is the fc as you know as you have seen this particular thing uh, that uh, in the chemistry there are the two papers paper 1 paper 2 that is the chemistry 1 and the chemistry 2 while preparing for the exam you have to here visit to the uh, now the yeah, in this particular uh, thing we have the two paper chemistry and the chemistry two each paper is having the three units that is a unit 1 unit 2 and a unit 3 as you go uh, inside this particular paper you can find the unit 1 deals with the physical chemistry whereas the unit 2 deals with the inorganic chemistry and the unit 3 deals with the uh, that particular organic chemistry for this class f y and h y this three different things are there that are divided like that first unit will be based on the physical chemistry second unit will be based on the inorganic chemistry and third unit will be based on the organic chemistry as you know the basics uh, that particular uh, branches of the chemistry you are aware about this fact then it is very easy to remember that then how you can now take your chance to develop yourself while discussing about this particular papers chemistry i said two papers will be there each paper will be for the 100 marks in that this particular three units are there we will discuss the syllabus of the chemistry one in the unit 1 we have to talk about the two things first lesson is the chemical thermodynamics this already you have seen you have um, deal with this particular part in your 12th in the 12th in the chemical thermodynamics you have studied all this properties all this part but here i, I am again uh, requesting you to go through this particular syllabus you will get an idea in the 12th the syllabus was more as compared to this particular if why in the first unit in the first lesson in the first part we are going to discuss about the chemical thermodynamics we will highlight we will try to understand the definition of this particular terms what will be the scientific definition or the particular definition of this particular uh terms that are involved in the thermodynamics then the zeroth law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics these laws we have to see in this particular table then first law of thermodynamics is there hmm. then this all this thing what i said that you have studied or see you have seen in the 12 okay then we will talk about the thermochemistry in the thermochemistry we are going to investigate about the heat of reaction standard state enthalpy of formation of molecule enthalpy of combustion of molecule and its application then we have is the correlation of the bond energy then the bond dissociation energy and resonance energy from the thermo chemical data and finally 
job equation is there numerical will be based on this particular equation sometime derivation is also coming for this particular part then second lesson is the chemical calculation that is expressing the concentration of solution in terms of the normality molality molarity then formality is there mole fraction is there weight ratio is there volume ratio is there weight to volume ratio is there another things are there that is a ppm ppv mole fraction weight ratio volume ratio weight to volume ratio then the next this in the chemical calculation we are going to talk about these things in detail myself will deal with this particular paper chemistry 1 unit 1 chemistry 2 unit 1 these two units will be taught by me two units will be taught by the power sir in organic unit 2 will be taught by the power sir and unit 3 for the both the papers will be taught by the shoeb sir there will be the total three teachers we will deal with this year paper one will look for the unit 1 and second one will look for the unit 2 and a third teacher will look for the unit 3 okay then another syllabus already sir i have discuss i am not going in detail of this particular thing this is the syllabus of the paper 1 today in general that we should know this first of all the chemical thermodynamics you know the thermodynamics is nothing but the branch of the science which deals with the relative energy that is particular deals with the relative energy levels and transfer of energy between system system and different set of matter this is it is a branch of the thermodynamics is nothing but a branch of science that deals with the relative energy that transfer of energy between the system and its different state of matter surrounding or the different state of matter you can also call deals with the relative energy levels and the transfer of energy between the system and different state of the matter that is the thermodynamics what is the chemical reaction that is chemical reaction is nothing but the rearrangement of the atoms from one structure or configuration to another normally occurred by, by the energy change whenever we will talk about the chemical reaction in the in that particular reaction there will be the liberation of heat or say absorption of the heat will be there then few thermodynamic term we have to talk system it is a part of universe under the consideration or the study example chemical reaction in the beaker content of the chemical in the system will be the system in the surrounding the part of the universe other than the system used to study boundaries the line differentiating or dividing system or surrounding is called as the boundary very simple it is again then the types of the system open system closed system and isolated system open system is nothing but a system which allows transfer of both energy and matter in and out of the system is called as a open system whereas a closed system is nothing but a system which allows the transfer of energy to the surrounding only energy not the matter is called as a closed system then allows the transfer of only energy in and out of the system not the matter is called as a closed system you can modify it then the isolated system the system which neither allows exchange 
of heat nor the matter is called as the isolated system homogeneous system it is defined as a system whose properties are same in all parts and heterogeneous system it is defined as a system which consists of the two or more distinct homogeneous species which are separated from one another these are the few terms remaining terms we will see in the next lecture please uh, see the syllabus and please try to understand these terms very simple things are there in the chemistry okay please try to understand please try to read it please focus on it if you are not getting any point you can freely ask on the group it is a very free platform to you you can ask any query you have on the group okay we will stop here please go through this uh, particular video daily uh, go through this videos because um, we will we will take the small part daily with this particular lectures thank you